coming at you today with uh, I guess some tips what I got here is a 2008 GMC Yukon it's not a Denali or anything special not that that matters for this video but I wanted to put this doubled in in here just simple it's the uh, BS or the uh, 600 BS uh, Mechless MVH MVH 600 BS by Pioneer Nothing fancy, nothing special. It has all the features I want. I don't need no fucking touchscreen, no bullshit. But uh, the hardest part's popping the uh, bezel off right there. That thing's on there like no tomorrow. But, and it's got to undo all the seven millimeter bolts. They're all the way up. These are like stacked on top of each other. But anyway, uh, I got the access by, I believe it's Metra, the GM Land 29 with steering wheel controls. Well, the problem I ran into is the one that I got came from the factory without being programmed for the steering wheel controls. So I had to program it. That kind of sucked, but you know, whatever. The next thing is I couldn't get my satellite radio to work. And I was like, hey man, what the fuck? Fuck a mosquito. And they said, well, did you plug in the auxiliary RCAs in the back? And I was like, no, there's nowhere to plug them in at. Well, that was my problem. That's why I'm not picking up any signal. The back of the Pioneers and some of the other ones, they have like a multi-pin, almost like an S-video connection. So you have to get a special, the uh, XM V300, whatever the fuck it is. To plug in to, to tune it in well instead of using the antenna that comes with it you can use the factory antenna so the glove box on these there's this right here you push that forward and this comes down then you're gonna see this plug right here at the bottom of this box next to like where that yellow one is okay well mine right here had this little white retaining clip so i just got me a little pick tool poked it out slid it off um to get it out um you just depress the little tab right here which this is in the back, so you can't really see it. It's up in there like that. You depress that, slide it out. In my case, some are slightly different, but I just took that white piece out, popped it out, and this is to the factory antenna, the shark fin up top. That thing. So, I'm gonna put the box up in here somewhere and uh, run it over into the back of my head unit plug this into it um, it'll be a secure fit you don't need to have any kind of attachment or uh, fucking plug or anything extra for it it'll fit up in there just fine this actually almost looks like a little coaxial cable coax cable but so I'm just gonna have that tucked back in there I don't know where belts I'm gonna be putting that other box maybe on top of that one or Maybe back in there. It depends on how close this is. You hear that pop? It's that right there. Just push that in. I can do this with one hand. Push it back. Down it. Down she comes. So, and to reach that, it's best to get up, if there's any light to see, up under here to, uh, Pull it down. So that's the easiest way I found. Let's see if I can fill up in here. See how much if I got any room up there. Nope. Fuck it. So, yep. Um, I just thought I'd give everybody that little tip on uh, on that. You get a head unit that does not have the red and white RCA auxiliary ends. You're still gonna have to get that little tuner module. Stick it in. You can pop your antenna out. You can plug it into that. So. Hopefully that'll help somebody. And um, other than that, wiring it, 
and everything's pretty simple. Um, there are some um, extra speaker wires that have resistors in them. The resistors are for the non-amplified. I got the junk ass blow system in here that's going to be getting replaced, but uh, you don't have to use those if you got a bow system. It's for digital, non-digital, or no amplification at all. Uh, in my case, I didn't have to use the ones with the resistors, so I just capped those off, put them off to the side, wrapped everything in Tessa tape, and let that bitch eat. So it does good in these stock junk pff, fucking mosquitoes in these junk junk ass fucking bow speakers. I'm looking at doing um, some PRVs and all the doors. I got some Dayton one inch silk dome tweeters. Uh, it's gonna replace those probably put some in the back doors um i don't know if i'm going to do i think those are tweeters back there i don't know i thought about maybe putting some in there but i'm either going to do four 12s or four 15s back there on a 5k you know nothing nothing real big this is just my daily so i just want a little bit of beat while i'm driving around you know groceries can always go in the back seat and then i got this right here this is pretty much our our trip vehicle it's got plenty of room and uh she's sexy as fuck i think um uh, durango block top edition all murdered out uh i don't care for the stickers on the back but the old lady likes them so you know whatever uh but you know we take it to florida and uh maryland fucking california wherever we need to go so we drive that everywhere and this is just kind of the what I like to call the beater. I'm also wanting to uh, debadge this. Take these badges off and this side shit here off, but I need to clean it. Look how fucking dirty this bitch is. My daughter likes to put her feet on it, but whatever. I'd much rather have dirt and have my daughter than clean panels and no daughter, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, as you can tell, I live in it. It's fucking got shit everywhere. But anyway, um, this is my daily little beater and uh, I'm gonna put a little tune in it and it ought to be fun so i'm off to see uh my buddy here in a bit and get that tuner slam that bitch in here and enjoy some fucking tunes and it doesn't look like i've got that in there just right so i'm gonna pop that out and fucking fix that because it's bugging the shit out of me all right man later